Hello everyone, today in CATS Focus, we're going to focus on Artificial Intelligence, AI, which is the future and the new path that technology has taken today. Let's talk more about it. What is Artificial Intelligence? It is a science of making intelligent machines, especially computer programs. It's a way of making a computer, a computer-controlled robot or a software think intelligently like human beings, how their brain works, how humans learn, decide, work, or solve a problem. Now, some of you might think of Arnold from Terminator, or uh, Edwin Jarvis from Iron Man, Optimus Prime from Transformer. Yeah, you're kind of right, but that's not what exactly it's all about. We are far away from that. We're going to come back to that later, but let's just talk a little bit more about AI. Now, why suddenly everybody is talking about AI? Big names like Stephen Hawking, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Stephen Wozniak and many big researchers, they've showed their concern about the risk that AI poses to the human race. Now, why suddenly it's a, it's a big question? Because the idea of having the strongest AI would ultimately succeed. But we as human, we've been surviving on this earth. We control this planet. And we have no experience and no power, no technology of handling something which is more powerful than us. We control this planet, not because we are the fastest, strongest or the biggest. It's because we are the smartest. And when we are no longer smartest, are we assured to remain in control? There are two schools of thoughts about it. Few researchers still think that we are centuries away from creating something that is human level AI where at the recent conference in 2015 in Puerto Rico most of the AI researchers guessed that it would happen before 2060 so something which was impossible a couple of years ago people still think that that's pretty possible and we can achieve it within next few decades artificial intelligence is usually known as narrow AI and general AI. Narrow AI, which is also known as weak AI, is designed and trained to do some particular tasks, some specific tasks like a virtual personal assistant, like Apple Siri program, self-driving cars, and facial recognition programs. The biggest success story of narrow AI came into the limelight with the victory of computer program Deep Blue over the world chess champion Gary Kasparov in 1997. The program made some interesting moves which were not even part of the program initially. So it self learnt and applied those moves. The long term goal of any researcher is to create general AI. While the narrow AI can outperform human beings at some specific tasks like playing chess, solving equations, General AI can outperform humans at every cognitive task. It can learn, it can look at the pattern, it can understand the pattern and then respond accordingly. It's got the power to make the decision. Though we are far from making the robot or a machine which can outperform human at every cognitive task, but we are getting there. Human is already working with the robots. Artificial intelligence is growing now well in fiction we already have those machines we've seen such machines in the movies but in reality we are far from that but we're getting there gradually with the increasing interest towards the AI in the market some big names in the market are showing their interest in working towards it HMT Global has applied for a trademark on Wiki a chat and the voice based helper for the smartphones Nokia chairman attends a session of the second annual World Internet, Internet Conference in China, December 2015. He says that, I do not want to become an AI programmer. I want to deeply understand the abilities and the limitations of AI. I want to raise awareness on this because AI will be a key driver of the ongoing industrial revolution. A few months ago, the news came out that Facebook had to shut down the AI robots because they developed their own language which was known as functional gibberish. Then Facebook came into the defense, know that it, it was just uh, some error in the program and they had to shut it down. 
Facebook has its own artificial intelligence research program which is known as FAIR Facebook Artificial Intelligence Researchers. It is to seek and understand and develop the systems with the human level intelligence. Last week the news came out that Facebook is working with Intel on deep learning. Google is present in every phone, every smartphone in the last 10 years. Though it could not handle the hardware, but it was present there. So Google has all the information about all the users. Now, when it comes to AI, Google is already way ahead of rest of the companies and using this information in their favor. Google has just started implementing things in the hardware field with their newly launched cell phone Pixel 2 where they have put in a chip, AI chip with its own dedicated processor in the phone. Though uh, the chip is not activated right now but they say that once the new update will be given to the Pixel users the chip would be activated. This chip would help users to uh, get them to search, work as per their needs, it will read and understand the pattern and provide the user the best customer experience. Now let's talk about where all we can apply the AI. Well, AI can be applied in the medical field, healthcare. The biggest bets are on improving patient outcomes and reducing costs. Companies are applying machine learning to make better in the faster diagnosis than human. The best example would be IBM Watson, which can understand the natural language and is capable of responding to questions. Now, the other fields where it can be applied is speech recognition, handwriting recognition, expert systems, I mean the combination of the machine, software and the special information to impart reasoning and advising. Gaming, games like chess, poker, tic-tac-toe. Once it beats a human, no human can outperform AI at one of these games. The other fields where it can be applied is the tedious task, the repetitive task because human errors are natural to humans. AI would not make the same mistakes. In the fields of business, education, finance, law, manufacturing, everywhere it can bring the revolution. If we talk about introduction of AI in education, then it'll give educators more time, it can assess the students and adapt to their needs. It'll work at their own pace. So wherever we apply AI, it's going to benefit human beings. Well, there are benefits and there are disadvantages. So it is at a very initial stage that people are working on AI, they are speculating. In reality, nobody knows what's going to happen in future. But for now, this seems interesting. This was my review about AI. I'll bring more interesting videos for you. Please like and subscribe and comment on my video. Thank you.